The impeachment move in the House changes the equation for everyone, the left, the right, you guys, the reasonable ones, and certainly the people who want to be president, including the man sitting next to me, Mayor Pete Buttigieg. Always a pleasure. Good to have you. Glad to be with you. Surprised? A little bit, but uh, we knew that at some point we would hit a breaking point, and we are there. This is a moment of truth for the country. I think this is a moment of truth for the Republican Party. Uh, sooner or later, it had to come, because any one of these abuses that we've seen over recent years. Any one of them could have been career ending for any other president. Uh, the issue was they all came at once and it shocked the system. The system couldn't figure out how to deal with it. Now the system is kicking in. The constitution is kicking in and there's going to be a process that leads to some kind of accountability on this. You worried that you haven't seen the call, haven't seen the complaint? It's not just about the call. It's not just about the complaint, but we do know that we have seen in played in view, the president of the United States confess to wrongdoing. He didn't look very guilty when he did it, but that doesn't change the fact that it was a confession. And right now, we see strong evidence that the American president may have sold out U.S. national security interests to go after a political opponent. That's just the latest in a number of things, any one of which might be impeachable. But the real question is, what standard are we going to hold the presidency to? This isn't just about this president. This is about the American presidency, because if a line is not drawn now, then future presidents, even long after our lifetimes, will have a different and lower bar for what they think they can get away with. Now, they opposite in the reverse, right? That if you, we've learned from Andrew Johnson, that precedent, that you're not supposed to go out uh, after a president with impeachment for political disagreement. That's right. And that if you set this as the precedent, that just because you don't like what he was saying to somebody else, you try to impeach him, Absolutely. then impeachment will become every cycle. Absolutely. And this impeachment should be bipartisan. I say should be because yeah. uh, I've, I'm not getting my hopes up. But look... This is also a moment of truth for the Republican Party. Every Republican in elected office, from Representative Jackie Walorski back home in South Bend, all the way up to people like Mitch McConnell, need to decide what they're going to go down in history for. Because this is one of those moments, one of those pivotal moments where Republicans can decide whether to defend not just this country, but their party from actions that fly in the face of their own values, not just mine, mm. or whether they're going to make excuses for this president, like the fellow who's just on now. Really poignant, uh, you reconnecting in Iowa with the 16-year-old who said, Pete, you know, you help me uh, feel good with who I am. Yeah. When you're out on the hustings, that kind of stuff resonates, resonates with you. What are you hearing from people about this, about how important this is? Accountability, sure, but impeachment as the mechanism. So I have been one of the candidates who has really not loved getting into this discussion because there are so many things on the ground that need attention from healthcare to an economy that's not working for most of us. And I think if we hadn't failed as a country to handle those issues over recent decades, we never would have got a president like this one within cheating distance of the Oval Office in the first place. So I'm the last one to be enthusiastic about this topic, but we have been forced into it. And what I'll say is having just wrapped up a four day bus tour of Iowa, uh, it used to be the number of times I would hear about this is approximately zero per day. Now is about once per event. It's still not the top thing on the minds of most of the people that I meet. Uh, people want to know if their kids are going to be okay in school uh, with gun violence. They want to know uh, how they're going to be able to afford health care. Um, but it is coming up more, and I think it's on people's minds more. Now, I don't know what this will mean politically. This is one of those moments that comes along where I think you just have to state what the right thing is and then figure out the politics around that rather than the other way around. But I will say this is, I was struck in my appearances uh, uh, the last couple days, how much more this is starting to be on the minds of voters who, in communities where I don't usually hear very much about this. I think one of the things that worked for the president and for Mr. Giuliani is that they put Biden on the table. One of the things that didn't work was the hostility and the um, recklessness with the facts made people look at the situation. And you've seen momentum building that this is not what they sold it as originally. Be that as it may, we'll see where that leads. As I said to Congresswoman Spamberger, you're not going to get gun control done now. You're not going to get anything done once you go down this road. This man is not Bill Clinton. He cannot compartmentalize and start cutting deals that will get him higher job approval numbers after he gets impeached than before. You're making a trade here as Democrats. Well, if uh, the thing we're trading away is this president's capacity to get things done on a bipartisan basis that the American majority want, 
or not trading much. None of the things, even the things we thought he might do on a bipartisan basis, that brief moment where he pretended to be for gun safety, uh, the original, uh, you remember a couple years ago, us thinking for, for just a minute that maybe something would at least happen on infrastructure because it would benefit him politically in addition to being the right thing to do. But uh, other than a tax cut for corporations, this president has delivered on nothing, even the things he promised that some, a majority of Americans might have been for. We're not losing much when it comes to the idea that this presidency won't be doing deals. What we are, uh, I think, though, going to have to do as, as a party on our side is to do two things at once. Maybe this president can't do two things at once. We'll see if this Congress can do two things at once. But right now, the American people are deciding who our next president is going to be. And the issues that got us here are going to be issues when this president comes and goes, from gun safety to climate change to immigration to wages to health care. Are you open to questions about the VP's son and what the VP did and why in China or Ukraine? Do you believe any of those are open issues? No, and I don't think we should allow this kind of whataboutism that allows what was clearly a, an egregious uh, pattern of behavior by this president to turn into an excuse to, uh, to allow them to say, look over there, look at this thing that happened. We are talking about an extraordinary, perhaps unprecedented breach of the oath of office by the American president. And if they tried to change the subject, we've got to make sure that that can't happen. Very interesting to hear right now a political opponent close the door on something that could be damaging to, to Joe Biden. You don't even want to go there. I'm going to Very use the word competitor rather than opponent because uh, among Democrats, there are, uh, all, we're competing for the same job, but we also know what's at stake for the country. And this is a moment, again, where if things were working properly here, Republicans would be right alongside the Democrats demanding that there be accountability and that the rule of law be applied to this president the way it is to everybody else in this country. If, ifs and buts. With cherries and nuts, we'd all have a beautiful <laughs> Christmas. Uh, we'll see what happens on this. They're 13 months ago before anybody starts to vote. So a lot can happen in the race. We welcome you here all along the way. Thank you. Mayor Pete, thank you very much. Good to be with you.